Today we go over new details of Star Wars Episode 9, the final film of the sequel trilogy when it comes to the character of Kylo Ren. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as we all saw in The Last Jedi, Supreme Leader Snoke was able to use Force Lightning, even though he wasn't a Sith. Now, that is one thing to take into account here, is that even though you're not a Sith, you can still use the many powers that the Sith have used in the Star Wars franchise. Now, looking at Episode 9 here, since Kylo Ren is now Supreme Leader Ren, and the whole entire leader of the First Order, and essentially is this going to be this big, you know, sinister figure in Episode 9 as much as Darth Vader, and even hopefully as much as Darth Sidious if they really wanted to go that far by director J.J. Abrams. But looking at Episode 9, we have been going over this movie these past couple of weeks or so when it comes to all the different filming locations, the concept art descriptions and storyboard descriptions, etc., one of which points to a potential new power for Kylo Ren. It all consists of Kylo Ren sitting on his throne with Hux in front of him, Kylo holding his hand right hand up in front of Hux, just above his hand is a lightning sphere, which could indicate a new form of force lightning that Kylo has discovered. The sphere is glowing with multiple spokes and colored white. Now, could this very well be a new form of Force Lightning for the character of Kylo Ren in Episode 9? As I pointed out before, in The Last Jedi, we do witness that Supreme Leader Snoke is able to harness the power of the dark side and use the power of Force Lightning upon Kylo Ren. Now it makes one wonder, since Kylo Ren is going to be a whole lot more powerful, and we do know this that by director J.J. Abrams and writer Chris Terrio, that they are going to evolve Kylo Ren as a character significantly in this movie, not only when it comes to the relationship with Rey, but also when it comes to how powerful and sinister he really will become. Now, the thing here is this, when we're looking at Kylo Ren, I think that providing him new powers in Episode 9 will make him a whole lot more intimidating if he gets to use it on some of the characters such as General Hux. Now, in The Last Jedi, he used Force Choke on Hux, very similar to what Vader did in Rogue One, a Star Wars story against Krennic. And I don't know if you guys caught this, but that seemed like it was a real big parallel from Ryan Johnson to the Rogue One A Star Wars Story movie, because if you look at it, it's all very similar. That scene between Vader and Krennic, and the scene between both Kylo and Hux. Now, looking past this as well, I really want to see Kylo Ren using this ability against Rey. Now, if he's really going to go up against Rey, and he does hope to have a victory against Rey, I believe that he has to do and use some other kind of force power against her in order to have the upper hand. If JJ really wants to go all out and really wants to top the, the lightsaber duel, the battle sequence of Anakin and Obi-Wan on Mustafar, he has to give Kylo Ren some new powers going up against Rey while in between of fighting with lightsabers. To me, that would be truly stunning. You know, if you look at the fight between both Yoda and the Emperor, of course, they're not only using lightsabers, but they're also using you know, regular force powers. Yoda's using the force itself, and the Emperor is using force lightning. I mean, it's great. That's what's so great about those Star Wars battles and those duels alike. So, at, you know, looking at Episode 9, this, this lightning spear that Kylo Ren has hovering over his right hand that he's raising up in front of Hux, he could very well be, you know, threatening Hux, for a specific failure, I don't know. Maybe he found out that he is the mole within the First Order because judging from that plot leak back in May of this year, apparently Hux is a mole within the First Order trying to essentially overthrow Kylo Ren and regain his army back again. So looking at episode nine, guys, that's all what I hope for to see is of course Kylo Ren being a whole lot more intimidating and having these new force powers in the movie that he would use against Rey. To me, this sounds like a mastered form of force lightning, or maybe even just in a new and entirely different form of force lightning that'll make it unique for the character of Kylo. 
But anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.